When it comes to these wildlife fact file videos, I've been in two minds about whether I should do a video about pheasants or not, especially considering that most of them are actually captive reared and then released into our countryside for shooting. But I figured some of you might want to know a little bit more about them. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the pheasant. To use their full name, ringneck pheasants are a large game bird that was introduced to the UK around the 11th century. They're native to China and East Asia, but have been introduced to North America, mainland Europe, New Zealand, and to some parts of Australia. Pheasants are sexually dimorphic, where the males and the females look very different to one another. Females are mottled brown over their entire bodies and grow to between 750 and 1,200 grams. Males are quite a bit larger, at 1,000 to 1,750 grams, and can be a variety of colours. The typical form has rich mottled chestnut and grey wings with a glossy almost purple breast, a white neck band, green head, and vibrant red patches of skin around each eye. Both males and females have very long tails which can make up more than half of their total body length. Pheasants sometimes roam into wetland and urban areas, occasionally even visiting gardens, but their usual habitat is open countryside near to woodland edges and hedgerows. Their diet ranges from season to season, but being opportunists, they will eat everything from grains and seeds to buds, roots and berries, insects and other invertebrates to lizards, snakes, frogs, and even small rodents. Pheasants that survive over the winter months can and do nest in the UK. This happens between April and June when male pheasants, which are also known as cocks, compete with one another for the right to mate. The winners gather a harem of females, which are known as hens, and mate with all of them. The hens then create well-hidden nests on the ground, lined with grass and leaves. Each hen lays between 6 and 15 olive or sometimes pale blue eggs in the nest. These measure around 4.5 cm in length and it isn't rare for more than one female to share a single nest, creating a massive communal clutch. I can't find out if they share incubation when they share a nest, but only the hens will incubate the developing eggs. They take 23 to 28 days to hatch, and after just a few hours out of the egg, the chicks are up and about and ready to move away from the nest. They can feed themselves straight away, but they are flightless for the first 12 days. The young birds will stay with their mother for 10 to 12 weeks before being fully independent. Pheasants will only nest once per year if they are successful at hatching their eggs, but if their eggs are destroyed, each hen can lay two or sometimes three clutches. As the male doesn't usually play any part in rearing his chicks, he can have multiple mates throughout the duration of the nesting season. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, the vast majority of pheasants in the UK are captive bred ones that are released in the late summer for the shooting season. The breeding population here is between three and four million animals but each year between 45 and 50 million are released. To put this into perspective, if every native bird was weighed and compared with the weight of every pheasant in the UK in September, pheasants would outweigh the natives 1.7 times. Pheasants are able to fly short distances, but when they sense danger, they will usually run rather than take to the air. They can live for more than 18 years in captivity, but in the wild, they are lucky to make it beyond two years of age. Here is a male pheasant's call. Now if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also like this one here about the goldfinch. And if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.